Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Hopefully it's not too windy right now and y'all can hear me, but we are here at a five and below distribution center. We are picking up our next load and this load is going to Iowa. So yeah, a little excited for that. We get to go pretty, I mean, it's not from here. It's, let me see, does it say here? I think it's under a thousand miles from here, but I mean, it's still pretty, pretty, pretty far north. You ask me, we were going to pick this up uh, last night from the previous video where we were delivering at uh, the Sam's store, um, but we didn't have no more time as uh, I think I mentioned it in the last video, but we ended up getting here right now. I woke up a little late. I was, um, I don't know why I was so tired. I was going to wake up at four four in the morning because i got my hours back at five in the morning i was gonna go eat but that didn't happen so yeah but we are here we're picking it up i was already ready and um yeah we should be delivering this in about two days i think so on friday right now it's wednesday so yeah let's go look for this trailer and um let's get today started right, guys so i literally just saw that don't mind my trash but i literally just saw that <laughs> This load was to pick up on the 28th in the morning, which was yesterday in the morning, but from when I'm recording this, but as y'all saw from the previous videos, I had loads and I wasn't even here in Houston. I was in Dallas with another load that they gave me. So there was no way for me to pick this up at eight in the morning when it was supposed to be ready. So I was looking at the paperwork and it says it's not, it's due tomorrow. Today's the 29th, it's due on the 30th at eight in the morning. So if this is a live unload, I'm gonna be late. Is it my fault? Not really, because I was dispatched on two different loads. So yeah, nothing I could have done there. Um, even if I would have left a little bit earlier, I still wouldn't have made it on time. I'm uh, 13 hours away, so I won't be too far. Be too far today when I stop, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there at eight in the morning tomorrow. So I'm gonna double check right now. Let me see if it's a live unload. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a live unload. <clears throat> On my paperwork, it says at, at 8. On my tablet or on my whatever, Omnitrex, whatever, it says at 9. So, I'm going to try my best to get there on time. But it just all depends on the traffic and all of that. We will see what happens, but I really doubt it. I really doubt it. Anyways, they told us our trailer is on door... 324 trailer number is 6996 oh yeah right here all right guys so we parked right here y'all see the sign right there i was focusing on my finger but right there it went to panda to get our lunch because we haven't ate anything all day and uh i mean i still had two hours 44 minutes but i'm just gonna take my 30 minute break right now so we can eat and uh whoop you love somewhere up ahead so let me go ahead and eat real quick guys and um we're gonna get on the road here in uh i don't know like 20 minutes or so so let me eat Alright guys, so we made it into Oklahoma. We're right here, I think it was like mile 7 on the 75. And as y'all can see, it's uh, completely backed up. Well, on the GPS, it says there's a, a 50, 50 minute delay. Yeah, so I haven't really explained what is going on. So this load is actually to deliver tomorrow. Tomorrow at 8 in the morning. So I will not be able to make it there. And uh, they're gonna have somebody else pick it up. 
and I think it's called Big Cabin, Oklahoma. I'm still like four hours away from there. Yeah, I'm three hours and 56 minutes away from there. And I only have, well, I have four hours and 53 minutes. I have enough time, but if it actually gets backed up where I'm not moving at all for like about an hour, which I mean, looks like, looks like it is, I might be, I might be a little in trouble, I guess. I mean, they're not gonna get mad at me, I don't think so. So that's what's going on right now, guys. So hopefully all of this clears up a little bit and uh, we can get going. But by the looks of it, I don't think so. All right, guys, so we made it here. Oh, let me get my seal real quick before I forget. We made it to Dallas, so they we ended up deadheading from Big Cabin, Oklahoma, all the way to Dallas. So it was like 200 and some miles. We came here to pick up this, this trailer. It's already loaded. This one is going again to Houston. And um, we're gonna deliver at a, I think it's like a Walgreens a distribution center. So that's what we're doing right now. But before we do all of that, we are gonna go, there we go. We are gonna go to, uh, where are we going? So we're gonna go across the street to a Whataburger to eat because we haven't ate any breakfast. After that, we are gonna go to a pilot and take a shower. And after that, we are gonna head to Houston and hopefully be there not too late because my appointment is at six in the morning. So I can't stop tonight pretty late. It has to be uh, pretty early. So with that being said, guys, let's, uh, let's hook up, pick up the landing gear and get out of here. so i just got my bag ready we arrived here at the pilot or flying j whatever it is same thing but we have decided that we're gonna go take a shower but we're also gonna stay here the night it's already what time is it it's 5 33 so i should be getting my hours back around i think i stopped at 5 24 so at 3 24 in the morning, I should be getting my hours back. The appointment is to deliver at six in the morning. It is a live unload. So we have to be there at that time. Can't be there earlier. So that's why I'm gonna stay the night here and uh, leave at three. Uh, we're only like, I think it's like an hour and 40 minutes away with traffic right now. So a little bit less, maybe like an hour and 30 minutes away. But we're still gonna leave at three in the morning just to make sure that we're there on time. And uh, after that, we have another load to pick up, like 30 miles away from that uh, warehouse where we're delivering this one. And uh, that one is going back up to Dallas. From there, we are picking up another load. And that one is going to, it's gonna be picked up in Fort Worth and is going somewhere to Kansas. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be for tomorrow. I don't know if it's gonna be on the same video, but for now guys, let me go take a shower. So by the way, guys, let me show y'all something that will be coming. I don't know how how soon, but sometime in the future, it will be here for sure. Oh, look at that. Jesus Christ. That right there, guys. It's a W990. That's my dream truck right there. Woo, man, it's not no old school truck. It's a newer one. I believe that one's like a 2020. Oh, man, that, that's my dream truck right there. Soon we will have that in the channel, soon. But for now, I don't know. I might mess around and make a, 
a shirt or something with um i don't know something that has to do with that truck i don't know yet just an idea but anyways let's go shower well guys it's uh about 5 40 somewhere around there we finally arrived here to the shipper um or to the shipper to the receiver we're just waiting for i don't know what the heck this guy is doing but so we can go park real quick go check into i don't know what door they said 36 i think and uh we'll see what door we get it is a live unload so not sure how long they take here never been here but here we are in houston an hour later I can't really see my windows a little bit foggy, but they finally freaking put the red light. And I I can feel them. I think they're starting to unload me finally. Yeah. An hour later, man. So let's see how long they take to actually unload me. And we can get out of here. Jesus Christ. Well guys, after I don't know, like two and a half, three hours, um finally done here about to head out uh so they canceled the other load that we were gonna pick up um here like 30 miles away that was going to fort worth so now instead we're gonna go straight to fort worth get a trailer that's already ready and um head to kansas that load is going to kansas somewhere in kansas i don't know i don't remember exactly what little town it was but yep that's what we're doing right now so let's uh Man, let's get out of here. Hey guys, never mind. I just got a message literally as soon as I cut the camera. And uh, he said that they're working on getting me a new load. So I'm guessing so I don't have to go all the way to Fort Worth empty. They're trying to find something else. Maybe uh, another driver picked up the one I was going to pick up or something. I don't know. But I guess we're going to wait here for a little bit longer. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me uh, go back to bed, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and move just in case another driver needs to park here. As soon as this guy wants to hurry up and uh, get out of the way. All right. <laughs> he stared at me a little too hard. It was a. Uh, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So, let's see. Pretty sure I can park somewhere over here. Guys, right, so, as y'all can see, we came to a little gas station. I don't even know it was here. I just saw it when I was coming down the road. That coffee in the morning messed me up. But, uh, yeah, so we got another load. Basically, pretty much what we had. Well, we are going to pick up again at the Sam's that I went to. Um, at the Sam's Distribution Center where I went to, like, a video or two ago. And that one's going to close to Dallas. Then we're going to go to Dallas and uh, pick up another one that's already ready. But that one is going to um, somewhere in Missouri. So the Kansas one got canceled, and uh, now we got a Missouri run. I think that one should be all right. We should be able to pick it up. Um, but yeah, I'm almost there. I'm probably like 20 minutes away. Uh, so yeah, man, let's get on the road. We can go pick it up, and we can go eat. Because, man, my stomach hurts, but I'm hungry. So we got here to a pilot, as y'all can see back there. Uh, we're gonna weigh ourselves real quick. So I figured I would show y'all how I do it. So I do everything through the phone. That's how the company wants us to do it. So I go on the app right there. I just type in the number of the scale. They have a number right on the, right here by the button. This one is 2474, press done accept at the bottom then it loads in 
All right, there we go. So it already, it already has my information saved, the tractor, and then the trailer is the only thing that I changed. I have trailer 8,000. And then at the bottom, just press accept. Load number one, don't really matter. Same thing at the bottom, accept. And then it says, please wait. It tells you how much it's gonna be, $13. Of course, I don't pay that. Somehow, some way, the, the account's already set up uh, with the company, so it goes straight to them. And then I just wait for the Waymaster, so inside, and there it is. As y'all can see, I am overweight on the trailer, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So, yep, that's that's how I do it. So, I'm just going to screenshot it. I mean, I get an email for it as well, but I just like to screenshot it. It's easier. Then just press done, and that's it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty dang easy. So, now, um, we just wait for this guy to... I don't know why the freak you would get right here, right in front of the freaking scale and block it. And there he goes, getting off his truck, walking with his friend. All right. Oh. Oh my goodness. Could probably get out. Let's see here. All right. Woo, man, that close. All right, we got out. Look how close I am to his trailer. I know, man. All right. Alright guys, so we're just gonna park real quick and uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat because I'm freaking starving. guys so i was trying to hurry up so i didn't record anything but there's a trailer that we had we moved the one that was right there put it oh wait no the one that was right there is the one that we have on right now and then that one was one that was in front of the store that they needed and um i just moved it around for them and moved the empty out so i could take it so now we're here. Oh man, I'm a little tired. I was trying to hurry up and uh, do all of that so I can get out of here and uh, go pick up my next load. You know, just the usual me being nice. I just told him, yeah, I'll go ahead and move them around for them. So even though there was another driver here that could have helped me, but oh well. I mean, I guess I did my my good thing for the day. Traffic somewhere, 
somewhere in Dallas at any time there's always traffic well it looks like we are not going to be able to even make it to any truck stops I don't think there's any close to the place where we're going to go get loaded or not get loaded but pick up uh, our preloaded trailer so I hope that I can maybe stay close to where I'm picking up the shipper or I mean I don't know honestly so, y'all stay tuned because I have no idea where the heck we're going to stay tonight all right guys so we picked up our next trailer it was about time we freaking got here but anyways guys i only have about an hour left or so what like an hour and i think it was like i don't know 20 minutes 10 minutes now uh so there's the seal um so i'm gonna go ahead and stay right outside i think I mean, I'm freaking hungry, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go outside, drop the trailer, then bobtail across the street over there to a Whataburger and uh, get some food, then come back, hook up to the trailer and then just stay the night here. I mean, there's already trucks staying out, out there. So last time I came to pick up here, there was um trucks parked out there as well so um yeah i'm pretty sure i could stay there but that's the plan for today guys i don't know if i'm going to continue this video or not probably not i'll probably leave the the whole adventure <laughs> of uh, driving up to missouri for another video but i don't know yet we'll see we'll see I need to start editing it and see how long it is. But anyways, yep, that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, my goodness gracious. Guys, quick little shot of the truck. There it is. Well, that's where I'm staying tonight. Right there in the street. See, there's a truck over there. There's two trucks. That one behind it. There's one over there. Let me get inside because it's freaking windy. All right, guys. So as y'all saw, we're staying the night here. I have 28 minutes left. I dropped the trailer, went across the street, got me my dinner for tonight. And uh, yeah, I have 28 minutes left. So we called it a day here. Tomorrow at, I think it's like five in the morning, we're going to be heading out. We have about... It says eight hours and 30 minutes, but I don't know if I'm stopping or not, but it's about eight hours, eight and a half hours, maybe nine if I stop and take a shower. For now, guys, I'm going to call it a day here. Probably a video. Yeah, I'm going to call it a video. I'm going to leave uh, tomorrow's um, driving and all of that to Missouri for another video. So, like always, guys, if you all enjoyed, please leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll get to you eventually eventually but if you have a really important question that you want to be answered pretty quick um dm me on instagram i'll leave it down below i'll answer there most likely a lot faster than here on youtube so i guess i'll see you guys in the next video peace